Hello and welcome to jdrivingschool.com. My name is Jai Shri Somaya and my driving school name is Jai's A-1 Driving School. Today I'm going to talk about buffer zone or crash avoidance space. Now we are going to talk about buffer zone. Now what is a buffer zone? The room around your car is called buffer zone or crash avoidance space. When there is another car is going to come near you then it's coming in your buffer zone or in your crash avoidance space so when the room around your car is decreasing because of another park cars then you must decrease your speed before you come near that park car so because it's going to on your left side the your space the crash avoidance space is going to decrease because of the park car so you must slow down and come at a slower speed near the park car and keep on passing the park car at a slower speed and when there are no park cars beside you then keep on pick, uh, then pick up your speed and keep on going another thing when there is a car coming from opposite direction and you are coming from here that car is coming from opposite direction and it's going to come beside you in your right side crash avoidance space or in your buffer zone then you must decrease your speed before you come near that car also because it's going to come beside you and your right side crash avoidance space is going to decrease so you come at a decreased speed and then once you pass that car you can pick up your speed so whenever there is a car coming um whenever there is a car going to come in your crash avoidance space you must decrease your speed pass that car with care and then pick up your speed another thing when you are coming near any parked car you must stay about a meter away from that park car because sometimes some drivers when you're coming closer to those park car the cars uh, drivers from the park car suddenly opens their door when you are about a meter away you cannot touch their door and we, you can keep on passing that park car with care even though they have opened that door fully but if you are too close to the uh, to that park car then and if they suddenly open their door then there are chances of you hitting the door of that car sometimes the roads themselves are so narrow and there are parked cars on the uh, either side of the um, road and there could be a car coming from opposite direction and there are may not be uh, we can and you cannot go too far from the park car but there will be just enough room to pass those park car and oncoming car then you are getting closer to the park car uh, so then you have to get, get more slower and be be alert the drivers do not open their doors and watch the oncoming car and with care you pass each other sometimes there is a big car coming from opposite direction and there is not enough room to pass the parked car uh, as well as the oncoming car then come to stop before you come near the parked car let that car pass you with care then you keep on going through uh, uh, through that space so always use your common sense if your crash avoidance space is going to decrease a lot then you have to decrease your speed a lot and that's how you take care of your crash avoidance space so as you are coming near the park car you have to think of three things first of all before you come near the park car, someone can open the door of the park car. So you stay more than a meter away. Then when you are near the park car, if there is a child here wants to cross the road, he can run on the road because he cannot see your car coming because of this park car and you also cannot see that child. So be careful as you're passing the park car, someone can run in front of your car. And when you're coming near the park car, sometimes park car driver suddenly 
accelerates in front front of you without indicating or without checking his blind spot. Most of the people, uh, drivers have a habit of just checking in the mirrors and you could be in that blind spot and sometimes they cannot see you coming and they accelerate thinking nobody's coming and they come out on the road. And if at that time, if you try to pick up your speed before you pass that parked car, there, there, there are chances we can go and hit that car. So always stay away from the parked car and think of all these three things before you come near the park car thanks for watching my video please like it share it and subscribe it thank you